Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Oh my god, my shadow. Ooh la la. Today, I'm bringing you a very special video for me. I prepared everything and I'm ready to share it with you. I'll be talking to you about my top 10 dramas from 2020. I know it's almost the end of January. These dramas have aired on 2020. I'm not taking into account the ones that started airing on 2019 and finished on 2020. I'm taking into account the dramas that started airing on 2020. And yeah. And also, of course, this is my top 10 based on, you know, my likings, my everything. Preference for dramas is basically... Mm, how, like romance, sweet romance, I guess I could say. <laughs> like cliche kind of dramas, but also mysterious ones. So you will see. Let's get started. So the drama that is first on my list is Penthouse. What's good about Penthouse is that Penthouse doesn't have this like specific characters that are main characters. Of course, I guess all of them in a part are main characters because there's so many different things going on which is very interesting so the cast consists of Kim Soyeon, Lee Jia, Um Ki Jun for the cast, the three that I just mentioned are the ones that to me are the most outstanding ones in what they did for this drama the young actors are remarkable but these three actors that I have just mentioned are nuts really are nuts they are so good and if you like to watch good acting, you should watch this drama. So it has suspense, it has romance, it has comedy, and it also has social problems. It talks a lot about social problems or bullying. This drama is about the richest of richest that live in the most expensive apartment in Korea. All of these families have secrets and the adults as well as the kids feel threatened by this outsider, this girl, so as for the kids, they bully her and also the parents threaten her a lot. This drama starts by this girl being pushed to death in this apartment. So the mystery, the mystery here is who killed her. So that's how it starts. It's very mysterious drama, but also in every single episode, you don't know what will happen, which is very, it keeps you on your feet the whole time. And it has romance too. So. You will enjoy it quite a lot. For number two on my list, I have Hi Bye Mama. So this drama, oh my god, I can't even tell you. But first, we will start with the cast. The cast here consists of the famous Kim Tae, Lee Kyu Hyun, Oh Yi Shi, and So Jin. For here, I feel like everyone, of course, did a great job. For me, he stayed as one of the most remarkable characters in this drama because he was goofy, but at the same time, he was very caring, which made me like, I don't know, care for him a lot, that character. And also, this boy acts as a girl in this drama. And he is in every episode, of course, because he's one of the main characters. And it's so impressive to see that acting when he's only five years old. So I was very impressed about that. After marrying her high school sweetheart, she dies while giving birth and she becomes a ghost. Then she is given the opportunity to live for 49 days in the real world and she meets again with her daughter and her husband that has already remarried. So of course this is a lot of things mixed together but it is a very heartwarming drama I guess I would say and I cried, oh my god, I cried a lot with this drama. Number three on my list is Hospital Playlist. The cast includes the famous Ho Jong So, Chon Mi Do, Yu Yeon So, and Chong Kyung Ho. So it's sort of like a Grey's Anatomy with a friendlier bond. These are high school mates that are doctors now. They all work in the same hospital and they're also part of a band. It has a lot of comedy and friendly atmosphere but also every doctor's romantic interest is also in there so it's really nice to see every story together. Number four on my list, More Than Friends. The cast of More Than Friends is Shin Yeun, which she's getting very famous these days, and 
Bong Seongho. They are the main leads, but the character that I loved the most is not one of the main characters, Hwe Chan Ho. In this drama, he portrays every emotion like it's impressive. He doesn't want to break up with someone that he loves so much. And he's also very selfless. So you can see how that can actually happen in real life. And I just got so touched by his acting. I thought it was, it seemed very, very realistic. So in this drama, the two main leads have been friends since high school. And the main girl in the drama has been in love with a guy for more than 10 years. main lead that's the guy has also feelings for her but hasn't quite realized yet and the timing is really not like working on with them so they go through a lot of obstacles to show each other that they're there for each other but is it more than friends or is it as friends for number five on my list we have Itaewon class the very famous Itaewon class, I'm very quite sure you might have watched it already if you are a fan of drama. The cast is Park Soju, Kim Dan. They are the two main leads. So the summary is after going to jail wrongfully, this character, the main lead, Park Seo, he tries to make his dream of defeating the most famous bar in Korea come true with the help of some extraordinary people he meets on his way. So of course, it has romantic interests as well and it has a love triangle right there, of course. And it just shows a lot of what Korea is. I, I think Korean culture, it portrays it very well. So I just, I enjoy that very much as well. Number six, six on my list is Sweet Home. The cast here is Song Kang. He is so good and he is famous as well for his big role in Love Alarm and Lee Do Hyun, Lee Jin Woo. So these three characters are again the ones that stood out the most to me. Especially Lee Do Hyun, I think he is really good. I've seen him in a lot of dramas and he always portrays his character at the at to perfection. It's as if he's a different person every time. And again, that's what actors should be. But with him, I don't know. I always, I'm so surprised when I see him. So this drama is about humans that suddenly turn into monsters. And at a small apartment complex, this troubled teenager tries to lead everyone to survival by making rules, by doing all of these things. While of course there is the mystery and all of these things going on inside that since they are trapped of course there might be some i don't know maybe monsters in there trapped with them as well if you don't like to see blood or it's not that bloody but if you don't like to see blood i don't recommend you to watch it and it's very unrealistic it's just science fiction number seven on my list ronok this drama oh my god this drama is still ongoing, by the way, but it made my list because it had to. It really had to. The cast is Im Si Wan, Shin Se Kyung, Kang Tae and Choi Soo Young. Choi Soo Young, I actually did not know that she was an idol. So my friend told me like, oh, she's an idol, but actually she acts very well to be an idol. So I was very surprised. And also Shin Se Kyung. I thought she was just an actress because I've seen her so much but she was apparently an idol first so these idol actors are surprising me quite often these days um, they are all really good what I like about this drama is not just the cast but the characters that this cast portrays are very have a lot of individuality and that just hooks you up right up into the drama like they're not like these, I don't know, these this normal character that you see everywhere. They have very specific traits. The main lead in this drama is a national sprinter in the national team, of course, in Korea. And the female lead is a movie translator from English to Korean. They both meet a few times by destiny. It's not a story that's out of the box, but it just 
tangles you it gets you because of the characters and how well they're portrayed and how well the script must be written to have all those dynamic characters but what i also like about this drama is that it has two love stories and they both they show both love stories so number eight on eight on my list is live on so this drama is actually like a more of a web drama i watched it pretty much on my phone the whole drama like a neighbor the cast is Hwang Min Hyun, Jung Da Bin which she is so 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 good Choi Byung Chan these three characters again are the ones that like stood out the most for me especially Choi Byung Chan oh my god because I know that he's an idol and his personality as an idol from what I've seen is more on the serious side and here he takes on the role of a very cute character um so that was very impressive for me Pekorang is a famous influencer that one day gets an anonymous message on the school radio so then she tries to get in the school radio club just to find out who that was of course but in the meantime she meets a lot of good friends and contact a perfectionist so she is more of a cold character and he's a perfectionist it touches themes such as online bullying or actual bullying and influencers, YouTube, which is all part of what's going on in the world right now. So I think um, it's worth watching and it's very short so I think you guys should watch it. Number 9 on my list, True Beauty. I know it hasn't ended but again it's quite worth it to give it a try. The main characters are Cha Eunu, Kang in and Moon ga -yong. Um, What do I have to say about these characters? They are all, the three of them are really good. This drama is based on the actual webtoon but it has a lot of changes. It is good if you like light-hearted dramas, I guess I would say, because it's very not, it's unrealistic to want to a certain point. It's basically about a girl that had been bullied before because of her ugly face so then she learns how to do makeup and she transfers to a new school where she finds Suo and Hojun. so of course this will be kind of love triangle going on in there and of course she's always afraid of showing up her ugly face to her classmates because they might bully her like in the past for number 10 last but quite not least private life the cast is so young and ko kyung pyo these two main leads are so good are so 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 good at acting they grab you and they don't let you go you you have to be watching there this drama is about scammers and it involves a big company too so like there's scammers inside a big company and there's other scammers there's just scammers everywhere they enjoy acting for the people and getting money and stuff like this main female lead comes from a family of scammers they just scam for a living so after some time she falls in love with the main lead the guy main lead of course who might also be scamming her so this has a lot of love and intrigue and i guess if you like investigation dramas or stuff like this it's also very very good because they're always in the police or something like this so that was it my top 10 dramas of 2020 if you have watched them let me know what you thought about them and if you have any other suggestions please do let me know i'll see you on my next video thank you for watching bye let me learn how to Wink. <laughs>